Welcome back to Shapes. We're going to be progressing that automation journey we're currently on and we're going to make another artificial intelligence today. First, let's make a look at what we did last time. It's this beautiful universal color mixer. It's quite brilliant. It takes all three colors and then based on the input, we currently have purple. It divides the purple into three wires. It's gonna be red, green and blue. And we have to say for purple, we want red, yes, that's a one. We don't want green, zero, and we do want blue, that's a one again. So in these parts, we're trying to figure out which color we currently have, and then whether we want that specific base color for, for that or not. That's the whole logic here. Then we've got the three wires coming into these three filters which say whether we want the color or not. If not, we don't want green in this case, so it gets discarded. And the two remaining colors go into this mixer. There's a special case that's when this mixer comes in. That's if we want white, that's all three colors. So at first we would mix those two and the third color would go around this way into the mixer and here the filter would send the color ahead into the mixer as well. Then we would spit out white here. Also the issue here is combining three conveyor belts and mixing those. So what I have done is red goes straight right there, blue goes straight as well, but the green, if we want green and also have a blue, then it goes to here because we don't have red and if we have red and green, then the green goes to this conveyor belt. If we have all three, it also goes to this conveyor belt, but blue goes around. And what's this area right there? That's a special case when we only want one color, so no mixing at all. So if we only wanted green, it doesn't get discarded here. Since we are not getting red nor blue, it goes to here, I believe and then, or I'm not sure, it doesn't actually matter which one because it's just green, and then it gets shipped to this conveyor belt which goes all the way up and into this one which is basically an output conveyor belt to there. The logic here is fairly simple, it's just these RGB wires going to here and they say whether the color should get discarded or not. We have two ends here and here, which just say this end, the first one says, do we have blue and red? Because if so, then we have to make way for that green color. So send the blue around. And if we do have red, in that case, this green filter has to send the green onto this conveyor belt on the right. Now what about this end here? It says that we have white because it's red and green and also blue. So all three are true. Then it goes to this one and as I said earlier, this would say go into the mixer and don't skip it like you're doing just now. And these three, if we have only one color, the logic is this area, which is way too complicated. And last time I tried to figure this out on my own and I thought that I was clever enough that I didn't need to draw it on a paper. But it was a dumb idea, I should have done it because it would only take like a minute. This is a big risk, but I think I'm just gonna delete this whole area and redo this again. It's gonna take just a second. So again, this whole area here, the outputs are those blue wires which say true if we don't have just one color and false if we do. All right, I'm deleting it. I'm scared, but I'm doing it. Yes, delete. Okay, so, no more mixer for us. We just got screwed. <laughs> All right, so let me just connect, reconnect these three colors there. So now we should still be getting Okay, we are not getting purple because these are not connected. That's okay. That's fine. So how do we know if exactly one of these wires is a one? 
that would mean we've got just one color and we don't want any mixing. We have this nice logic gate, which is an exclusive OR. An exclusive OR produces a one if exactly one of the two wires is a one. If both are zero, then it says zero. If both are one, it also says zero. So the logical thing here would be to exclusive OR two wires and then take the output and exclusive OR with the last wire. So there, right? That's a zero and a one. Exactly one is true, that's a one. It goes to this and it takes the one and the one here and says zero. It means that we don't have exactly one true wire. And that's what we wanted, right? So I'm gonna connect it to here and back to these. So let's see, and it's working. It's not working because I forget to negate it. So I'm going to use a NOT gate right here. And now it's working correctly. That's what I did last time, but it doesn't work all the time. When does it not work? Let's think about these exclusive ORs. I'm gonna try and edit the numbers here. But basically, these two wires are connected together via this exclusive OR gate. So when does this say 1? If we got 0, 1, 1, 0, and it says false if we've got 1, 1 or 0, 0. Now what about this other gate? It works exactly the same way, but the three combinations are gonna be a little weird because the whole thing, this output wire, is gonna be one exactly when we've got 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Three of those are correct, meaning exactly one of those three numbers is a one. But if we have all ones, then these two are one, which means that this exclusive OR gate says zero. This wire is a one, and then this gets a zero and a one, which is a one. And that's incorrect. And this happens when we want white color. I'm going to put white in here for a second. So now we have white, which means that all three wires are a one. And as I said, these two means zero and this is gonna be one. So the output is one. But these think that we want just one color and that's incorrect. So we need to figure out how to solve this special case right there. So eliminate this false positive when we got three ones. And that's gonna be very easy to do. We simply need to know if those two wires are both a one, then this exclusive OR behaves a little weird. So let's try it and say those two and, so they are together, get the wire out and what now? These two work perfectly except for the case when this wire is a 1. So if this wire is a 1, we want this whole thing to say false. And that's gonna be very easy to do. We can simply negate this wire, so it's a 0 in this case, and we put in another AND gate. There. So even though three of them are true, We've got a false here, which turns into true here, so that those are doing just fine. And as you see, we've got white, so all three are going through, and that's white. Now let's try it for purple again, as we had before. There we go. It's still not true, and that's fine. And now let's try just one simple color, like red. So now exactly one of those wires is true, which means that these are working correctly and they say one. This says false because both of them are false. And that's a one here. So it's going around. And this works perfectly and is much cleaner than the mess I had earlier. Now I promised we're gonna be making new artificial intelligence this time. Now, since we've got the paint mixer, it would be nice to make a universal painter. I'm gonna use this big one, the double painters, 
but I think it would be enough to use just one half of that we're gonna use the whole thing because it doesn't really matter that much and I'm gonna do it probably somewhere here I would say so as the color is coming from the bottom I'm gonna do it somewhere here like that but in the end we're gonna assemble it in our own way for this example this should work we're already gonna have pre-selected and pre-made a shape that we're gonna want to paint and that's gonna be handled by a different artificial intelligence we're also gonna bring paint all the way to here so what now is that it is there no logic to this well here we're gonna get the shape that we want and here we're gonna have the paint that we want the shape to have what's there to it well the problem is if we want the shape unpainted for some reason then we're gonna have a problem so let me switch here to no paint we're gonna get the no paint signal here which is gonna make our paint mixers stop working all the colors are gonna get discarded in that case we're not gonna get any color here Let's wait for it to catch up there we're not getting any color out of this paint mixer which means that these painters are gonna get stuck they're trying to paint these shapes and they're waiting for the color but there's no color at all which means that in case we have no color we need to skip the painting process we're gonna have the same thing we have here up there with the painters as well the painters here are gonna know what color we're actually trying to paint those shapes now again let's imagine that this color is gonna be unpainted so that this logic is gonna say no paint please well in that case we want to input a filter which is gonna say if we have any but unpainted color go into the painter otherwise go around it and skip the painting process so I'm gonna go like that around and skip the painting process and we can do it just here using these tunnels and merge those two lanes right there so now we just need some signal here how do we know when we've got no paint we're gonna do it in the same way as we did before which is that we're gonna have a constant signal here saying no color and then we're gonna try and compare the two signals so the signal coming from this logic is gonna say unpainted which it now does thanks to this little hack we've done here and if it's gonna be in fact unpainted then this is gonna say true and we're gonna connect it here but true means go ahead but we want it to go to the right if it's unpainted so we're gonna negate this bit as well there so now if we got no paint at all please go around and skip the painting process to there why because there's no paint coming this way we could theoretically skip this logic bit and simply put a belt reader here which is gonna say oh hey we've got no shapes on this conveyor belt there you go if we got no color on this conveyor belt that's zero simply send it to the right actually that might even be better that's what I also wanted to do that's some planning I think that eventually we're gonna have to figure out how to make a quarter of each shape individually so we can't make the whole purple star but we're gonna have to make it by quarters why is that well that's because we might get this weird shape which has a different color on each part or even this weird shape which not only is colored differently but also has a different shape in each corner so eventually we're gonna have to be able to produce these which means that we're gonna have this mixer mixing the paint for just one corner of this shape that's gonna be let's say the purple and that's a square so here we would have to also know which corner we're trying to paint meaning which paint we're getting right here so I think it might be easier to not do any comparing or don't just read what color there is but simply look at whether this conveyor belt of paint is flowing or not it's not the proper way you would normally code something like this but perhaps in this case it might be the most efficient one and the safest one as well but I must say that it's a little weird to say that this 
heck is gonna be the safest way to accomplish what we're doing just here. So no logic here after all. And I'm going to get back to here, remove this bit, put the wire back in, which means that we're now getting purple paint right there. It's getting there and now this is flowing, which means that we're again letting those shapes right through. Why? Because the conveyor belt is not stuck anymore, it says one and it goes all the way to this filter and it lets these boys through. I think that's all what I wanted to say today. Next time we're gonna get back to some more clever stuff. But first let's do some testing and see whether when this stops flowing we do in fact start sending these to the right as again. So I'm gonna cut it off here. This should stop flowing at any second, start showing zero, already has, and there we go, we started going around. So these just need to clear up, and once they do, we're just getting those unpainted shapes. That's actually pretty awesome.